Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to wire up a 12 volt switch, specifically in this video, one of these 12 volt LED rocker switches, the ones that have way too many tabs on the back here, five in this case, that power the LED indicator lights on the switch itself. Let's get started. You can get these type of switches almost anywhere these days. You know the drill, there's lots of different types. There's some that have little icon stickers that go on here and then the different types of labels for, for what the switch powers. There's ones that have it already pre sort of done there and pre-installed. And then there's other types like these, for example, that will actually show uh, you know what the switch is and have a little icon that's laser etched and uh, then the LEDs that sit behind the switch itself. So there's lots of different types. They're a great little switch because they have a really nice feel to them. They have the LED indicators built in. And these guys with the five pins are extra cool because they give you a few extra options around how to wire them up. These ones give you the option to have the indicator LEDs come on with your dash lights. And then when you flick the switch and turn, turn him on to power whatever it is, in this case, an LED light bar, when you switch that, the main switch then also comes on as a separate indicator that the switch is powering on whatever the thing is that you're powering on. Now, as far as these type of rocker switches go, particularly the ones with the LEDs uh, on the front, the indicators, they can be a little bit tricky because of the fact that there are a whole bunch of pins, five of them, at the back. So let's go through what each of them do. So you can see the one on the top left here, that is a ground uh, and the earth point. And same with the pin on the top right, that is also a ground or an earth. And it basically lines uh, these two little columns up. So that's the ground for the bottom set of pins here. And the right hand ground is the is the ground for the bottom pin on the right hand side. That's the two top pins. The middle pin here, as you can see, that is the battery 12 volt. So that's the 12 volt input that you would have coming in to the switch from your, from your battery itself. The bottom left pin, that's your output. So that's the pin that basically shorts between the two. So that middle pin plus the bottom left, when you switch it and actually switch the, the switch, as it were, uh, it, it shorts that connection and then joins that so that it sends power out to whatever that device is. And lucky last, we have the bottom right pin. And that is an input pin and that, that's a, a dash light power. So that's the pin that you want to power in from your dash lights so that when the dash lights come on in the car or, or, or your boat or whatever the case is, uh, when the power is on, and your, you know, your, your dash is illuminated, then it will also power up the indicator light on the switch itself. All right, so we'll do a little bit of a demo here. Got a bit of a battery here, and I'll, I'll just show you how it lights up, and we can sort of simulate an install. Looking at the back here again, we have our, our negative at the top here, and our positive at the bottom. Now this is gonna power up your dash light, so that's what you'd wanna be getting power. You'd wanna earth, earth the switch off, in this case, our top right and then you'd have power coming in from your dash lights so that when we when we power that up you can see that this is what it would look like it gives you the little indicator that your dash lights are on and in the dark you're going to be able to see where that switch is so you can see that's those sort of two columns i was talking about so the right hand side that's for your dash light indicator pretty straightforward then the other side is sort of the power side of things and that's effectively what a three pin you can get these in a in a in a three pin as well like you can see there that's effectively what what that's doing as well it's the same sort of deal as you can see here except it doesn't have the right hand side which is for your dash illumination so if we were simulating the left hand side here and pretending we only had the three or maybe you're, you're already done on that side once again the earth is on the top section there so we can plug him in. And then effectively what, what you have left is these two here. And like we said, middle is power in from your battery and the bottom left is the output to your load or what you want to actually power. So if we plug in our power from the battery, this is energizing the switch itself, just like that. You'd then have your power coming out of the bottom left here and that's going to whatever your load is. Over the other side here, when it is powered up, this switch is in the off position at the moment. And when you hit the button, you can see there that we have our light come on. 
Hopefully you can see that fine. Get that a little bit closer so that's it in its off position and when you turn it on you'll have the light section come on. Now remembering that this bottom section here where the indicator we looked at there before would already be illuminated in the case that your dash lights are on. So it'd be off, dash lights are off, flick those guys on and that would be illuminated down the bottom there and then illuminated when you're turning the switch on. All right guys, well that's it for this one. I hope it was pretty straightforward and simple to really run through how to wire one of these guys up. I will be doing that follow-up video on how to wire all of these guys up as well as this end switch here, which is some USB switches, or oh, switches, some USB hubs, as you can see there. There's a few extras here, and I'll be running through how to sort of put all that together. So stick around for the next video if you'd like to see that one. Otherwise, as usual, I hope you found that useful. If you'd like to leave a comment in the section below, I'd love to hear from you what you're using this to wire up, what, you, what you're gonna be pairing with your illuminated rocker switch. Make sure you share this video with any of your buddies that also might find it helpful. Hit that subscribe button if you feel so inclined. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing day. Cheers, guys.